Hello there, I'm Timon and welcome to Copycat Friday, a series where we create famous effects from movies, games, everything. Revenge of the Sith is back in theaters and everyone is going crazy. That's why today we're gonna recreate the iconic lightsaber effect. Big thanks to Jordi for convincing me to pick up Copycat again. I'm crazy enough to do it. Alright, so step one. <laughs> Film yourself playing with your lightsaber. Just one tip, make sure to increase your shutter angle on your camera. The higher your shutter angle, the less motion blur you have when swinging with your lightsaber. This is gonna make it easier to animate it. Most phones nowadays have an action preset, which kinda does the same thing. When you're done filming, drag your clip into After Effects. Next, click and drag your video straight onto the composition icon. That will create a composition with the exact same resolution and FPS settings as your clip. Once that's done, right click the timeline and go to new then choose solid the color of this solid doesn't matter now just real quick download this free plugin from copilot it's a super small file and you don't need an account or any of that stuff once you have it find it in the effects library and drag it onto the solid layer now you'll see a lightsaber with a black background but no worries We'll fix that. Go to the effect controls and in here find the render settings. Then expand them and from the composite settings set the background to transparent. Now you can see the lightsaber on your video. Now you can actually choose a saber preset from the list in here. You have some super cool ones but for the iconic lightsaber just choose the default one. Next we're gonna change the core size. Increase it until the size of your core is about the same size as your real life saber. You can also mess around with the glow intensity and the glow spread. You can always find tune these settings again at the end. But for now, just play around with them a little. Next you can adjust the core start position and the core end position. Match them exactly with your real life lightsaber. Now of course, you can change the color of your lightsaber. I really love green, so I'm gonna select that one. Now don't worry, you can always change this afterwards. And now it's time to animate the lightsaber. To do that, go to the beginning of your clip. This is where we're gonna make the ignition. But we'll do that one later in this video, so go a little bit further to the moment where your lightsaber is fully ignited. Then grab the start point of your core to the start of your lightsaber. Then do the same thing for the end point. Now you can also track in After Effects, but if you're doing heavy movements, things will get way too blurry and you won't be able to track it. So today we're tracking by hand. Put on some Star Wars lo-fi and start animating. So to do that, expand the properties in the timeline. Then expand the Saber plugin. Add a keyframe to the core start property. And of course also the core end property. Next in the composition window, move 10 frames forward in time by pressing the shift plus page down key and of course adjust the start and end points of the lightsaber and that's it now you can just continue doing that as you can see this creates new keyframes and that will make sure the lightsaber sticks to your real lightsaber if things move a little quicker just press the page down key to move one frame forward instead of 10 that way your animation is more accurate of course for slow parts jumping in 10 frames perfectly fine now before i'm gonna show you this awesome spin i want to tell you another secret. Storyblocks, the plugin for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Every video editor needs a stock library and this is the one I use. On Storyblocks you'll get unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. Everything you need in one place. 4K and HD video, templates, music and sound effects, unlimited downloads all without leaving Premiere or After Effects. After clicking the download button your file will appear right here in your project panel. You can choose a monthly or annual plan with no hidden fees. Storyblocks, thank you so much for making my videos better and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now, on other stock libraries, half of the videos are AI generated nowadays. Now, on Storyblocks, you'll find real artist created stock media, which is irreplaceable for creating genuine connections with audiences. Don't get me wrong, generative AI is awesome, but it can't replicate footage that captures genuine human experience with stories and emotions. That's why I will always use Storyblocks on all my channels to enhance the story I'm telling. To make it even easier, Storyblocks created restock collections to celebrate authentic stock content created by real artists. And that will help you tell more powerful and authentic stories with unique footage. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below in the description. And of course, don't forget to download the awesome Premiere Pro and After Effects plugin. But now, let's continue with our lightsaber.
Now, to make things easier, you can always temporarily disable the glow. That will make sure you can only see your core. This makes animating the core easier. So, if you're a real Jedi like me, your lightsaber will go behind your back sometimes. And when you reach that point when you're animating, just ignore it and continue until you're at the end of your video. I'll show you exactly how to fix that right now. So, this is the part where the lightsaber goes behind my back. And to fix that, select your video in the timeline and hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Now, drag it all the way on top. Next, move the playhead to the moment where your lightsaber starts to go behind your back. Then trim the duplicate to make it start right there. Now move forward in time until the lightsaber is fully visible again and then trim the clip to make it end there. Make sure the playhead is set to the first frame of the duplicate. Then on top, find the pen tool and select it. In the composition panel, click and draw a mask around your arm or body part that's in front of the saber. And now it's behind your arm perfectly. Now of course, we still have to animate our mask to make sure the lightsaber stays behind the arm. To do that, expand the mask properties and click the mask path keyframe button. Then move one frame forward in time and adjust the mask so it follows your arm. And there you go. But now, what if we enable the glow again? Then it will look ugly. To fix that, go to the mask properties again and increase the feather. You can also play around with the mask expansion to make it look better. All right, that looks nice. Now that we have everything, it's time to create the ignition. Go to the beginning of your animation and select the saber effect again. Then in the composition panel, adjust the core end to the same position as the core start. That way, it will ignite. Now, of course, it's not tracked perfectly anymore. So what I do is go to the middle of the animation and adjust both the start and end properties so it aligns with the saber. Now we're gonna make the ignition look even better by animating the core size and the glow bias. When the lightsaber is fully ignited, set a bias and size keyframe. Then move back in time and at the beginning, set the same keyframe. Now move a little forward in time and increase both the bias and size. That will give it this glowing look. That looks super cool, but there's still one problem. You can still see the real lightsaber. Let me show you how to fix that. First, move your playhead to the moment where the lightsaber is fully ignited. Then duplicate your lightsaber video and leave it where it is. Next, trim the clip to the end of the playhead because we don't need it anymore once it's fully ignited. Now hide the layer of the lightsaber and select the pen tool on the top of the video. Then create a mask around your lightsaber. This can be done roughly. Now go to the settings of your mask and set the blending mode to subtract. This will usually create a hole in your video, but since we duplicated the clip, you will see the original underneath it. Just make sure to hide it for now. Next, animate the mask around the lightsaber for just a few frames. That's needed for After Effects to fill up the gap. Next, go to the window menu on top and find Content Aware Fill. In this panel, click on Generate Fill Layer. Let it do its thing and once it's done, poof, your real lightsaber is gone. If you now enable the lightsaber layer, you will have a perfectly realistic lightsaber. I can't wait to see your results, so please tag me on my socials down below. If you want to learn how to create the brand new GTA 6 trailer text animation, click right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.